Scorpio, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Scorpio, this is a message for Scorpio energy, for Scorpio sun, moon, and rising sign for the week ahead or whatever time frame they give us. If you're not a Scorpio and you've been drawn to this message, it's yours. You've actually pulled it toward you. You need to hear something here and it arrives at just the right time. This is where your message begins. <laughs> it's so interesting because I don't usually split the deck that low. It's usually more even. And I'm like, why is it coming out this far? And in my head, I said, because, because that's the card that Scorpio needs right now. Set healthy boundaries. This is a very powerful time for Scorpios. And so I don't want you to think that that negates the power of where you are in your life. I think, and we're going to get clarification, of course, that the reason why you're being told to set healthy boundaries is because of the power and the progress and the leveling up and the transformation that you're going through. If you remember, boundaries are not walls that block you in. They are bones. They're the backbone that holds you up. They're not blocks or obstacles that you hide behind. They are your support system that carries you into the future and that makes sure that you're built to last. It's like the steel frame of a building, the cornerstones, the foundation. So God wants you to build strong, if not fast, because there's too much good going on here to rush. Build out those support systems and anything or anybody that isn't willing to give you the time you need to build this right, let them go. They ain't part of your future. They're not part of your plan. They're not part of your process. They certainly won't be part of your progress. Okay? You take your time with this because it's worth taking your time with. Build this shit right here to last. That's what your boundaries are. You're building your basement level, your cornerstone, and your steel foundation, your bones, your backbone. That's what you're building. Build that because this is worth it, Scorpio. Build this to last. And let everybody that you come into contact with know, these are my standards. That's what boundaries really are. They're standards. They're standards for your living and your treatments. That's what they are. Now, a lot of times scorpionic energy, what will happen is block, hide, push down, pretend it doesn't exist. And that's not a boundary either. That's toxic. That's, that's really, really bad for you. <laughs> that's not setting boundaries. But a lot of times people let their fear convince themselves that avoidance is a boundary and it's not. You don't avoid anything when you're setting your boundaries. You're facing every second of every moment that you're in with maturity, clarity, and commitment. I don't know what we're doing. Let's get on to the rest of the reading. Remember, Scorpio, as I divide this deck, you don't want to let somebody run all over you. I just heard that. As I divide this deck, know that there are going to be cards that fall out. That's okay. That's part of the process. Remember, if you need a personal reading, I provide those. The only place you can book is on my website. Go to www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. You can book and schedule right there. You'll get your message within 24 hours. I think I have a one space available this week. 
So get it while it's hot. Scorpio. If you're just finding this channel, God bless. Remember to subscribe and then ring that notification bell and select all notifications so that you'll know when I upload your favorite content, but also you'll know when I go live. And this is the only place I do free public tarot readings. So if you'd like to participate in that, check it out. Subscribe and ring that notification bell. Gosh, Scorpio, okay. If you are offended by loud sounds, please be aware that I'm going to cleanse the energy now with a sound bowl. Hold on. Might want to turn down your volume a bit. Be generous of spirit, Leo energy. It landed right on top of set healthy boundaries. This is having self-respect, my friends. There is a situation in your life that you are dangerously close to letting somebody walk all over you. Don't do that. Be generous of spirit. But also the generosity extends to yourself. Don't forget to feed yourself or put food on your plate. Right? You're not really being generous if you're starving one person at the table. Even if that one person is you. You may think, oh, well, you know, I'm just being generous. No, you're not. You're starving one person. Don't do that. You have enough. Be generous of spirit, of your own spirit. The robustness of all that you have to offer. The courage of your future. There's a beautiful future here. There's a, there's a wonderful perspective of forward, right? And I'm going to achieve this. You are going to achieve this. You are going to complete this. Courage to go into the future and courage to know your worth. That's why Leo comes out. This sense of self-respect, this innate sense of self-respect. And you're being reminded of it now, Scorpio. I don't know why. Let's maybe try to understand why is Scorpio being reminded of self-respect right now. And not in a warning, but almost aspirational. Because you're stronger. The Hierophant is here. Maybe, you know, the same things that always happen in the past. This is Taurus energy. Something coming out on the up and up where you're committing yourself to something. You have a lot of opportunities ahead of you. Be strong enough to choose the one that's best. And this is also your sense of generosity too. this sense of not putting all your eggs in one basket. Be generous and think maybe, you know what, I'm not going to get stuck in this single mindedness. Instead, I'm going to spread it around. <laughs> Whatever that means. You know what that means. Intuitively, we have the high priestess here. Give me a second with this. Intuitively, you know that it's just a matter of time. And this is the healthy boundaries that you're setting, the high priestess. It's almost like you're setting up a scenario of faith. 
and you're insisting that faith is part of your process from this point on. Like you're setting up something that is extraordinarily different and that's part of your foundation. Like generosity and not being afraid of the hard stuff is part of this foundation. And you're setting it in stone. You're making it the rule, not the exception. Okay. Think on your feet is coming up. This is, there's going to be some improv that's necessary. This is Sagittarius energy. When Fox comes to us, it's asking us to be malleable. It's us asking us to be able to make quick directional shifts. But in doing so, expand our trajectory and sing your own song. This is about independence. And it's about freedom. almost distracted by the rain I don't know if, if the can if the camera is picking it up but I can hear it it's so beautiful you're going to be liberated from something soon Because you have the courage to believe that there's more out there. You do have options. And you're going to be very happy to know that even if you don't decide on something by the end of this week, Scorpio, that you are free and that you still have the option for options. So keep yourself, oh, this is another really important part of this message that's just coming through. Keep your options open this week. Don't get stuck. You're coming from a place of commitment, doing things the same way all the time. It's almost like, no, I don't want to do that. I want to keep my options open. I like the freedom to move around because there is something in the future, there's something out there that is not knowable yet, but at the same time, I want to keep my options open. What, let's, let's ask that question. Why is Scorpio being asked to keep their options open? It's almost like it's a, oh, cancer. Maybe you're dealing with a cancer. <laughs> they want to lock your ass down. <laughs> um, it's almost like that's what you're setting in stone. This sense of this is my boundary from the beginning that I'm not going to be locked in. I need room and space to change and grow. And that's the foundation of the commitment that you're making. But then we have cancer energy. Which is, look at this new moon. Something popped off here. This is pregnancy. This is pregnancy, new family, um, like caring, kindness, nurturing. I forgot my question. Why is Cancerian energy coming out here? What the heck is going on? We're going to figure this out, Scorpio. Because what I would think is it's freedom from family. Freedom from having to be locked down in the domestic.
or what's coming in your future is this beautiful energy. And that's why you want to set boundaries now because you want you have the courage to know that what you see in front of you, you need to keep open because it's not all that you want. Because there is this energy of finding home. We have the hermit energy too, which is being able to be alone and being able to be on your own and have the courage to travel forward in your own strength. Four of cups is here. There's options. Let me tell you something. It feels like somebody's got a lot of fucking options here. And intuitively, oh, I understand. Now, I'm, now it's all making sense. <laughs> you know that somebody still has a shit ton of options or they know that you do. And that's why somebody doesn't want to be locked down. Because they're not willing to or capable of choosing yet. And in some ways, Scorpio, what God is saying is you're better than this. Have the courage to set boundaries from those situations in life that, that want to stay open-ended and don't want to commit. Watch out for that because some, you're dealing with that free bird energy of, oh, I want to keep my options open. Well, then keep on moving. Happy birthday, Doug Denny, Scorpio. Like keep on moving and know that you might have to leave this situation because somebody still is caught up in their brain and they don't want to make a choice. And ultimately, Scorpio, God is telling you to have the strength and the courage to move forward in your own in your own courage take authority over your life even if in some ways there's a sadness or disappointment here you're going to feel so much freer and more liberated and you're going to be liberated and 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 expansive because you didn't settle for what wasn't willing to lock you in or lock you down. It's almost like have the strength and the courage to move on from a circumstance that isn't right for you, isn't sure about you. Because you're right. Somebody's got a lot of options here. And it's almost like now you have to have the strength to realize you have options too. And maybe you're not looking for the options of woohoo. You're looking for the options of home. I want to be sure of something. And so ultimately, maybe what or who I'm dealing with ain't for me. Nothing is yet set in stone. Balance spirituality and practicality. You need a little more practicality. Because something is sort of still trying to be an ambiguous and open-ended with you. And ultimately what you need here is boundaries. There's too much water. There's too much wishy-washiness. Make a decision. Make a choice. The hermit card is here. I don't, I don't think that you're dealing with a Virgo. I think that you have to move forward in faith knowing that just because what you have in front of you now isn't ready to settle doesn't mean something up ahead isn't better. Isn't more what you want. Let's go to the extended. This is a good time for it. I want to know what God has to say. The link is in the description below. It's also pinned to the top of the comment section. Mental conflict here. You know what's conflicting? God's letting you know something. God's telling you. It's almost like you know what you really want, but what is in front of you and what you hold in your hand, it's like it doesn't want you or you, that's where the mental anguish is coming from. You have something in your hand, but it's not everything that you want. 
And so stop trying to shove that square peg into that round hole. That's where the mental anguish is coming from. You know up ahead your wishes are there. Stop lending your spirituality to what's wrong and start allowing it to infuse you with the faith you need to take you in the direction of what is right. I'll see you in the extended, guys.